This week, the FDA slapped 17 food manufacturers with warnings, saying the claims made on their labels are misleading and in some cases plain false. It was an unusually broad crackdown for the FDA, and it came with a threat of further action. Bianca Goladriga is here, and Bianca, this was a harsh warning. It was a harsh warning. I know, George, you probably pay attention to labels. I know I do. And in fact, according to a 2008 U.S. Health and Diet report, for the first time, more than half of those surveyed often read a label before they buy a product for the first time. So when experts call the latest food labeling action taken by the FDA the most significant in 15 years, everyone should pay attention. Consumers rely on labels to be accurate, but the FDA is putting 17 food companies on notice for using labels they say are misleading and need to change. On products from frozen fish to juice to walnuts. We hope that this is the start of a battle that will uh, lead to a war that will end essentially deceptive food labeling. For label conscious shoppers like Carrie and Christine, it's something they're paying attention to, including the agency's warning to the makers of these products like Nestle's drumsticks and Gordon's fish fillets. The FDA took issue with labels emphasizing zero trans fats. Does this stand out to you as a healthier product then? Yes, it would. I would definitely buy the one that said zero trans fat. But the FDA says those prominent labels on the front don't mention that the products do contain unhealthy saturated fat, although it is listed on the back. And I'm sure they're doing whatever they think is going to sell the product. Right. Ultimately, do you think it's false so advertisement? I hope not. The makers of Juicy Juice got a warning for labels claiming to have 100% juice. You said their grandmother. Yes, she does. She likes this label. It makes she her does. Feel it makes her better. feel like she has 100% juice. But the FDA says the claim isn't true, since it's actually juice blends with added flavors. Other products were called out for labels with claims that go beyond FDA-approved definitions. Companies try to get around the rules by using vague terminology, such as uh, help support your immune system or heart healthy. Um, these claims really are not reviewed by the Food and Drug Administration and are confusing to consumers. Confusing even for the most label conscious. I would say buyers beware. If you can't trust the label, then what can you do? We reached out to the companies mentioned in the piece, and while they all say that they fully stand by their products, they are also fully complying with FDA inquiries. In the meantime, the FDA has given the companies 15 days to respond, either by challenging the charges or by presenting a plan to change the label. So you said to be wary of claims like real fruit juice. What other warning signs should people look for? Anything that says boosts immunity. Now, the vitamins may, in fact, be included in the product, but that doesn't mean that you will not get sick. So that's what the FDA is warning about. Another item that they m mention, anything that says all natural. Of course, that probably is a big headline for us. We like seeing that. In fact, George, anything all natural only has to deal with poultry and meat items. That's only 20% of what you find in the grocery store. So it doesn't mean Could all be misleading, that much. right. Okay, Bianca, thanks very much.